see me in the spotlight, ooh, whatever your sound. Uh-huh, show me what you got, cause I don't wanna waste my time. Uh-huh, see me in the spotlight, ooh, whatever your sound. Hi guys, so today's video is a quick and easy party makeup. So I'm actually getting ready, or I've got ready now, for my cousin's birthday party and it is a red and black theme, so I've just got a black top on, um, black trousers, belt, etc. And then it's a Vegas theme, so I've got these earrings with hearts on it. Um, so hopefully trying to match it in like that. If you want to see how I've done this look, I'll come closer so you can see. So if you want to see how I've created this look, keep watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So I've curled my hair first of all and just set it so it just uh, stays curled for a longer time today. And firstly I'm going to be going in with um, a lip balm and this is the one by Lanadil which is Lemonade Lip Aid with lemon oil and this smells really really nice. It's like lemon sherbet sweets. Oh, it's so nice. So I'm just going to pop some onto my lips because um, I'll be using a matte lip colour today. So I just want to keep my lip nice and moisturised. And this really works. It keeps my lips really, really nice and moisturised. And I've only used about that much. And I've had it for about a month and pretty much been using it every day. So it does last a long time because you just need a little bit. Um, but I really, really like it. Then, as always, I'm going to start off with my eyes and firstly I'm just going to be prepping it or priming it with my Urban Decay Original Primer Potion. I am almost out of it so I do need to get another one, um, but this so far has to be my best eye primer um, for the crease because I generally get oily lids so I usually get like crease lines here, but since using this it's helped so much I hardly get it now. Then to make my eyelids more of a, a natural sort of a neutral colour, I'm going in with the MAC Pro Concealer in the shade NC35. And for that I'm just using my fingers because I think it just works better um, with my fingers. You can use a brush or a beauty blender sponge if you wanted to as well. And then I'm going in with my trusty Kick-Ass Setting Powder by Soap and & Glory and my Morphe E3 brush. And this just helps my um, eyeshadows that I will be putting on just to blend nicely. So I'm going to start off with my first transition colour and I'm going in with the Makeup Geek Creme Brulee Eyeshadow. And I'm just using any fluffy brush for this. And then I'm just going to deepen the crease with Frappe by Makeup Geek again. Um, and this is just a slightly darker colour to the creme brulee. I just feel that layering on different colours just helps the colours to blend nicely. So that's why I do it. I mean, if you want to, if you don't have a lot of time, you can just start off and use the darker shade to start off with. But it's, it's whatever's more convenient for you. Then taking a smaller blending brush, I'm taking Coco Bear by Makeup Geek again. And I'm just working that just mainly on the outer corner. And this is more of a darker brown colour. And then just slightly dragging the colour into the crease and towards the middle of my eyes. For my highlight on my brow bone, I'm going in with the ColourPop highlight in the shade Smoking Whistles. Um, this is a really nice highlight colour, it's so smooth, um, but I'm just going to use it on my um, brow bone today. And I'm just using my MAC 217 brush for this. 
it's really creamy so you've got to be careful when you are using it because you can easily go in and make it really heavy and really strong uh, highlight which is good if that's what you want um, but just to be on the safe side I'm trying to go light handed and then just build on top I'm then taking this MAC paint pot in the shade Bear Study and I'm applying that to the inner two thirds of my eyes with my MAC 242 brush. I'm trying to stay under the crease but if it does go over not to worry you can blend it out but try as much as possible to stay under your crease line. I'm then taking this shadow by Makeup Geek again and it's one of their um, foiled eyeshadows called Mesmerized and I'm applying that on top of the Bare Study and I'm just using my fingers for that because I feel it works better for these foil shadows. You can use whichever you prefer. So all I'm doing now is just taking the shade Frappe and just trying to blend out this area here so it just looks a lot more smoother and just flows nicely just really light handed so I feel that the outer corners aren't as dark as I wanted I don't think Coco Bear is as dark as I would wanted it to be so I'm going in with handwritten by MAC and just literally concentrating the colour on the outer corner of my eyes. So I'm then going to go in with this gorgeous glitter by Makeup Geek called um, a Satellite and I actually really like these. I haven't tested it on my eyes yet but I have um, done swatches of them. They are really really finely milled and they sparkle really nicely especially because it's an evening do I think it's going to look really good and this colour matches the mesmerised colour because it's got gold and purple flakes in it which is sort of similar to the eyeshadow that I've got on now. It's more purpley based but it'll give it a nice sparkle um, and in order for that to stick on better I'm going to go in with the MAC Prep and Prime um, extend eye base, the 24 hour extend eye base. Um, I feel this works really nicely because it doesn't give it keep it sticky or wet looking um, and you just need a tiny bit so I'm just going to put a tiny bit with my finger and then just pop some of this glitter on. So then for my eyeliner is none other than the Inglot Gel Black Eyeliner in number 77. Um, all of you who guys have watched my videos will know that I literally just stick to this one. I love it. It's so good. So now moving on to my face, I'm using the Makeup Forever Step 1 Soothing Primer and I really like this because it leaves my face feeling really silky and um, my foundation goes on really really nicely as well on top of this. You've got to excuse that. I was testing out what lip colours that I was going to use and obviously it was matte and it just doesn't budge. I have removed it or tried to remove it so many times but that stain is just not budging. So there are various ones by Stila, by Anastasia Beverly Hills and Cryolan and the Sephora own one too. Um, 
all mixed in like patched up beside each other and it just doesn't budge so for my foundation i'm going in with the clinique one and this is in the shade number 19 which is sand um I've just recently purchased this. I've had it tested on me, but I haven't personally put it on myself. So it will be the first time me using it. Um, and it is a really nice mattifying one. As you guys know, if you've watched on my other videos, I do have an oily T-zone and it's not pleasant. But this lasted at least six hours when I did have it tested on my face. Um, and it was really warm outside as well. And after about six hours, only I saw little bits of um, the greasy parts coming through. So overall, I think it might be good. So I'm just going to dot some on my face or around my face. And then just try and buff that in. I really like this when she, the lady at the um, Clinique counter put it on me because um, it looked really natural and it was matte, it really worked for me. Um, so I do like it, I just hope because of this party that it will last. <laughs> I'm actually really liking it. It does seem more yellow on the camera and I hate it when it does that but in person when I'm looking in the mirror it is a perfect match. Um, it's not got full coverage. It, I would say it's more um, medium coverage. Um, but I'm sure if you layered it on top, it would. Like, you can put it and build it. But I didn't want it to look cakey. And I'm not sure if it does that because I've not tested it out yet. But I think I'll leave it as that. And if I want to build on it, I'll do it later. So for correcting under my eyes all these dark bits, I'm going in with the Urban Decay... Um, Sorry, it's upside down. Going in with the Urban Decay Corrector in the shade Peach. It's not out in the UK yet and um, I placed an order online and I'm so glad. I just can't wait because I love the Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer um, and I've heard really good reviews about this one so I can't wait to test it out. So I'm just going to dot it because I know it's got good coverage. So I'll see how that bit goes so far. And I'm just using my Beauty Blender sponge just to blend that out. It's actually not that bad. I think I would have to do probably two layers. Mm, actually, it's not bad. I think I'll stick with one because the weightless um, concealer is really good with coverage wise so hopefully that will balance it out fingers crossed so i'm just taking the weightless complete coverage concealer by urban decay um, in the shade medium neutral and i'm just applying that as under my eyes doing like the standard upside down triangle down the bridge of my nose as well and a little bit on my forehead and also under the area where I would normally contour as well. And a little bit on my cupid's bow. And just blending that out again. So I'm just going to go and set that with my Kick-Ass Setting Powder and my Morphe E3 brush, which is my usual combo for now that I really, really like. And then for the rest of my face, I'm just using my standard MAC Studio Fix um, powder in the shade NC 43.5 and I'm just doing a light application of that all over my face blending that down so another one of my new purchases is this uh, bronzer by Kat Von D and in, it's in the shade Shady Business 2 um, it's really really nice. It's got glitter pigments in there like a shimmery um, texture which I 
probably would have preferred if it's matte but it's still really nice like since I've been wearing it loads of people have commented and said my skin feels well not feels looks really nice and glowy so um, it is a good purchase so I'm just going to use that first of all just to bronze out in my sort of periphery which is down the like hollows of my cheeks along my jawline really really lightly this one you just need a tiny bit and it goes a long way so just on this side and then a little bit on my forehead along my hairline and then for contouring I'm going in with my sleek um, contour kit in the shade medium and I'm just taking my MAC 100 brush for this this will just define the areas that I've just bronzed up For blush, I'm going in with the MAC blush called Ripe Peach, which is like an ombre blush with peaches and um, pinks. For highlighting, I'm going with this shimmer strip by Physicians Formula and this is in the shade Vega Strip For my eyebrows I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony and I don't want to go too heavy I literally just want to fill in the gaps because I don't want to make my eyebrows really bold looking today. For my lower waterline I'm going in with the Urban Decay Perversion Eye Pencil. Then I'm going in with the shade Mesmerised by Makeup Geek which was the foiled eyeshadow which I put on my eyelid and I'm just taking it and putting it under the black perversion eye pencil. I'm just using a flat brush for this. I'm then going to go in and apply my falsies and they are the Mink Lashes by Oh My Lash. So I'm going to put them on off camera just because it's faster and then I will be back in a second. So for my lips, I'm going in with the Cryolan Lip Stain in the shade Rock. And it's a really nice red matte colour and it lasts forever. It's amazing. I really like this. I will be applying it with a lip brush because for some reason it's done that. Um, don't ask why because I have no idea. Um, maybe if I was in a rush and I've just forced it in or something, I don't know. But I will be applying that with a lip brush. So that's my look complete, my get ready with me party makeup with glitter eyeshadows. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, just click the subscribe button which is written under my name, Be Beautiful by Benita. And you can also follow me on Twitter which is Beauty by Benita or Facebook and Instagram which is Be Beautiful by Benita, even Snapchat which is Benita underscore MUA. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video.